Hello and welcome to the TravelZim channel, your trusted companion for all things travel. Today we're embarking on a fascinating journey through Denmark, exploring its most captivating sights and experiences. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 best things to do in Denmark. Starting off our countdown at number 10, we have the enchanting Tivoli Gardens. Nestled in the heart of Denmark's vibrant capital Copenhagen, this historic amusement park has been captivating visitors since the mid-19th century. Tivoli Gardens is more than just an amusement park, it's a cultural treasure, a place where history and modernity intertwine. The park's origins date back to 1843, making it one of the oldest functioning amusement parks in the world. But don't let its age fool you. Tivoli Gardens is a lively hub of activity, offering everything from thrilling rides and beautiful gardens to live performances and mouth-watering food stalls. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie looking for your next thrill, a nature lover seeking tranquility among the park's lush landscapes, or a foodie eager to sample Danish delicacies, Tivoli Gardens has something for everyone. A trip to Denmark wouldn't be complete without a visit to the Tivoli Gardens. At number 9 we have the picturesque Niehaven Harbor. Nestled in the heart of Copenhagen, Niehaven Harbor is a historic waterfront bustling with vibrant energy. Its distinct row of colorful townhouses dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries paints a delightful panorama that's hard to forget. Once a busy commercial port, Niehaven Harbor is now a magnetic hub for locals and visitors alike, brimming with cozy cafes, delightful restaurants and charming boutiques. It's a place where history intertwines with modern city life, creating a unique and captivating atmosphere. But it's not just about the present. Nyhaven Harbor has a rich past too. The famous Danish author, Hans Christian Andersen, once called this place home, penning several of his timeless fairy tales right here. Walking along the harbor, with the gentle lapping of water against the dock and the soft hum of city life, is an experience that touches the soul. Nyhaven Harbor is indeed a feast for the eyes and a must visit. Number 8 on our list is the historic Amalienborg Palace. A striking symbol of Danish royal history, the Amalienborg Palace is more than just a stunning piece of architecture. It's the home of the Danish monarch Queen Margrethe II, making it a living, breathing piece of history. The palace complex is made up of four identical buildings, each with its own distinct charm. They surround an octagonal courtyard, a centerpiece of the palace that hosts the daily changing of the guard. This ritual is a fascinating spectacle, a testament to the enduring traditions of the Danish monarchy. Inside, the palace houses a museum that offers an intimate look into the private and public lives of the Danish royal family. From the opulent reception rooms to the royal artifacts, every nook and cranny of the palace tells a story. Amalienborg Palace is a testament to Danish history and architecture. It's a place where the past and the present meet, making it a must-visit for anyone interested in the rich tapestry of Denmark's royal heritage. Coming in at number 7, we have the National Museum of Denmark. Nestled in the heart of Copenhagen, this iconic institution is Denmark's largest museum of cultural history. It's a place where the past is not just preserved, but vibrantly alive. From prehistoric times to the present day, every exhibit tells a captivating story. The museum's extensive collection offers a rich tapestry of Danish history, showcasing everything from Viking swords to Renaissance art. But it's not just about the past. The museum also delves into contemporary issues, sparking thoughtful conversations about society today. Regarded as a cultural gem, the National Museum of Denmark is more than just a repository of artifacts. It's a journey through time, a reflection of Danish identity, and an exploration of human history itself. For history buffs, the National Museum of Denmark is a treasure trove. It's a place where every visit is an adventure, every artifact a story, and every moment a step back in time. At number 6, we recommend walking the bustling streets of Stroget. Nestled in the heart of Copenhagen, Stroget is not just any high street, but a vibrant artery of the city teeming with life. This pedestrian haven is one of Europe's longest shopping streets, boasting an array of stores from budget-friendly chains to high-end luxury brands. But it's not just about the shopping. Stroget is steeped in history, with its cobblestone paths whispering tales from centuries past. The street is lined with beautiful historic buildings, each with its unique story, and let's not forget the street performers that add a dash of color and fun to the shopping experience. Stroget is also a foodie's paradise, offering a smorgasbord of eateries and cafes serving everything from traditional Danish pastries to international cuisine. The street's energy is infectious, making it a must-visit for every traveler. Stroget offers an unforgettable shopping experience. 
Number 5 on our list is the majestic Rosenborg Castle. Nestled in the heart of Copenhagen, this regal structure is a testament to Denmark's rich and vibrant history. Constructed in the early 17th century under the rule of Christian IV, Rosenborg Castle showcases an exquisite blend of Dutch Renaissance architecture, which is bound to leave you spellbound. Once a royal summer residence, this castle now serves as a museum, housing a treasure trove of artifacts from the Danish monarchs of yesteryears. As you walk through its grand corridors, you'll encounter the grandeur of the throne room, the intricate details of the long hall, and the glittering spectacle of the treasury, where the Danish crown jewels lie in all their glory. Whether you're a history buff or a lover of architecture, Rosenborg Castle has something to offer everyone. Its lush gardens present a tranquil retreat from the city's hustle and bustle, making it a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll. Rosenborg Castle, a royal retreat like no other. Coming in at number 4, we have the unique neighborhood of Christiania. Christiania is a testament to the diversity and richness of Danish culture. Nestled in the heart of Copenhagen, this neighborhood is unlike any other. It was established in the early 70s by a group of squatters and artists who took over an abandoned military base, and since then, it has thrived as a self-proclaimed autonomous community. The culture here is vibrant and eclectic, a fascinating blend of bohemian lifestyle and alternative creativity. Its brightly painted houses, art galleries, organic eateries and music venues are a feast for the senses. But what makes Christiania truly special is its spirit of freedom and community. This is a place where the norms of mainstream society are challenged, and a different way of life is celebrated. A visit to Christiania offers a glimpse into an alternative, free-spirited side of Copenhagen that you won't find elsewhere. Christiania, a unique neighborhood that showcases the alternative side of Copenhagen. At number 3, we recommend the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art. Nestled in the charming coastal town of Humlebeck, this museum is a sublime fusion of art, architecture, and nature. The museum gets its name from the original villa, Louisiana, named by its first owner who had three wives, all named Louise. The Louisiana Museum boasts an expansive collection of over 3,000 works. It is renowned for its unique blend of modern and contemporary art, featuring iconic pieces from artists such as Picasso, Warhol, and Hockney. But it's not just about the indoor galleries. The museum's sculpture park, with its stunning views of Orison Sound, is a visual feast in itself. This museum is more than a house of art. It's a space where creativity, culture, and natural beauty harmoniously converge. Whether you're a seasoned art aficionado or a curious explorer, the Louisiana Museum offers an enriching and inspiring experience. The Louisiana Museum of Modern Art, a paradise for art lovers. Number two on our list is the legendary Kronborg Castle. Nestled in the town of Helsingor, this magnificent fortress has stood the test of time since the 16th century. Known worldwide as the setting for Shakespeare's Hamlet, Kronborg Castle's grandeur is matched only by its rich history. Imagine walking through the opulent royal chambers where Danish kings and queens once held court. Feel the chill in the casemates, a labyrinth of dark passages that once sheltered soldiers during sieges. And don't forget to take in the breathtaking views of the Orisund Strait from the castle's towering ramparts. Kronborg Castle is more than just a beautiful structure, it's a living, breathing testament to Denmark's past, filled with stories of power, conflict, and culture. It's a place where history comes alive, where every stone and every room has a tale to tell. Kronborg Castle, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands as a testament to Denmark's rich history. And finally, at number one, we have the iconic Little Mermaid statue. This famous landmark embodies the spirit of Copenhagen and the imaginative world of Hans Christian Andersen. The statue was a gift from brewer Carl Jacobson to the city of Copenhagen, and was unveiled in August of 1913. It depicts the poignant tale of the Little Mermaid, a character from Anderson's beloved fairy tale, who gives up everything for love. The statue sits on a rock by the waterside at the Langolini Promenade, gazing out to sea, seemingly lost in thought. Over the years, she has become an enduring symbol of Denmark drawing countless visitors who come to admire her beauty and reflect on her story. Despite her small size, the Little Mermaid's influence is mighty indeed. Her pensive expression captures the imagination, inviting visitors to ponder the depths of love and sacrifice. The Little Mermaid statue and enduring symbol of Denmark is a must-see on any trip to this beautiful country. And there you have it, the top 10 best things to do in Denmark. From the enchanting Tivoli Gardens to the vibrant Nyhaven Harbor, 
the regal Amalienborg Palace to the historical National Museum. Don't forget the bustling streets of Stroge, the majestic Rosenborg Castle, the unique Christiania neighborhood, the captivating Louisiana Museum of Modern Art, the Grand Kronborg Castle, and the iconic Little Mermaid statue. Each offers its own charm and tales, waiting to be discovered and cherished. So when you find yourself in Denmark, make sure to explore these wonders. Thank you for joining us today on Travelsum. We hope this guide has inspired your next trip to Denmark. Until next time, safe travels.